Welcome to River Billies, y'all. Um, today on this episode, we're going mushroom hunting. We're in a few different counties here in southern Missouri. Uh, the temperatures are right. I'm going to try to explain to you guys how to look for specific trees and the right kinds of ground and what just what features to look for to hopefully make you a more successful morel mushroom hunter. Stay tuned. Welcome to River Billies. So you look at this and you may think, oh, well we're fishing today. Actually, we've only got about 45 minutes of daylight left. Done been fishing. The lake is up, uh, Clearwater Lake is up. And I've made it to a spot that I'm going to look for something else. Um, we're actually going hunting, going hunting today. Um, not that I'll need that for what we're hunting for. That's just uh, precautionary for wild hogs and things of that sort. What we're actually hunting is morels. Missouri morel mushrooms. It is springtime. We've got crappie. We've got spoonbill. We'll have uh, some turkeys here soon. And we just need some morels to go alongside all those good meals. One thing I recommend... If you're going mushroom hunting and anywhere, um, don't go, don't go in this. Okay, I've got sandals on shorts. I've been fishing all day. It was a spurt of the moment kind of thing. So you guys know this is what a small stand of birch looks like. Now river birch, it's easy to tell from other trees because the bark. You have this. This is what uh, the Indians use for fire starter. It's a great fire starter crumple that up i mean it like it's paper it's basically paper but and they get a lot bigger than this um there's some persimmons mixed in in this stand this particular stand of birch uh, this great great mushroom habitat especially if you're in a river bottom or near um a river or creek having a water source nearby is a huge deal but he, this is a few days later. I'm I've got jeans on and I'm in, in an area a lot of thorns and rose bushes and blackberries and all that. So this whole video is kind of a compilation of several different areas and places that that I'm trying to give you guys a little bit different um, landscape here, and it's actually spread out over a couple different counties here in Missouri, so that. I can kind of show you what to look for in different spots and not every place is the same um, but normally if you can find mushrooms in an area look at your surrounding trees and the the features around you you know maybe you were on a specific northeast hillside or whatever it may be look for that same those same features um still in the general area but maybe a quarter of a mile down the road you may see those same features and there's probably going to be mushrooms there too. Um, sometimes there isn't. Uh, they won't like one spot over another that look identical. But you can see here, I'm really wading into the rose bushes and uh, briars and stuff here. So it's not the greatest place to have shorts on. Yoch stickers. See here, I'm. This is a birch right here, and we've got some little persimmons around in here. Even before when I was finding them in those thorns and stuff, I failed to mention there's a huge birch right beside that. <laughs> it's 
I mean, I can't stress enough. I, I look for those trees. I look for sycamore. I look for birch. And if you're in a mushroom produ producing area, you may have the best looking area in the world and not have any or maybe just a few uh, very sparsely scattered mushrooms in there. But if you're in a mushroom producing area, you start finding them. Then you start looking looking for those trees and those creatures you found them around and you'll be more successful as a mushroom hunter. Who are you looking for? Ash and birch, persimmon. This is birch here. I look at distance. I pick out a big birch or sycamore or another tree I'm looking for and I'll walk to it or I even see them spot them from the road and stop and go go look um, we've got one again down in the brush and the rose bushes <laughs> let me know in the comments if you guys know what this is it's got an aluminum lid like a giant beer can really old but it's plastic all the bottom is plastic huh there's a fly on it too <laughs> this is what you don't want to see in your mushroom spot you don't want to see Oh, this hog sign this giant hog waller <laughs> they've been rolling in the mud and it's what all this mud is on the sides of these trees from those hogs rubbing against them and you go through the woods and you see mud on the side of trees it's from wild hogs they like morels too well as we're walking through here I know there's a bed of pine needles here, but check this out right there. That's the first one I saw. And I've seen this one, and then you got one up there. Good deal. So they are growing up higher some. Look, well, even though there's pine needles here, it's right here, river birch. See, we've got a persimmon down here too. Persimmon's good, but river birch is my number one. So we've we've got a few mushrooms. Oh. oh my. You see him? I'm back to the birch thickets here. A birch. Birch. See the bark? Even little birch. Look what we got right here. I've lost it. I had one pinpointed here. There it is. They hide good. <laughs> there it is. Let's see if we can get some more. Got young persimmon, persimmon, birch, birch, mushroom. All about the trees. Now that's a nice one. It's been there a little while though. Try to cut off some of that bad, put it, soak it in the water, rejuvenate it some. Cut off some of this stuff here and it'll actually still cook right up and be fine. Yeah, that was a, that's a nice one. Look, there's another one. Other nice one, same, same condition. It's a little burn up, been there a while. Of course, we've had a couple frosts, and that's a does some damage on them if they aren't protected. Look, there's another one right there. Same deal. If you look, I am actually in little stand of persimmon here. 
So we've got birch, bigger birch around us here. Well, decent sized birch. So, same deal, those trees. I'm trying to look down in here, the grasses are hard. You can see that one right there. They're hard to see. Now, this one was protected a little better than those other two because it was down in the grass. It's still past prime, but again, that's another one of them. Soak it, you clean this up, they eat just as good. You know, cut out any of the little bad spots. Now, if they were smaller and really getting brown and burn up, I just leave them and uh, let them do their thing and wilt back into the ground, refertilize. Because there's not really much to save. The bigger ones like that, you can clean them up and you can get a lot of edible parts out of them still yet. Um, no problem. Still in the same area. I found that big one there, one there, one there, one there, all quality size. And I mean, the longer you stand here and look harder and harder, I got an untied shoe. You can see down into this thick grass. I mean, see that one's got some good here. This whole half is really good. We cut a little of this dark out. Pretty much eat all the rest of that, no problem. But. They are so hard to spot down in this in this grass. This one's pretty fresh. Looks like it survived the frost and the snow we had. Yeah, pretty good. Bag's starting to fill up, man, with them great big giant ones. <laughs> birch up there found well got some mushroom hunting mobile here <laughs> all these river bombs and creek bottoms i mean that's that's where you're uh you're gonna find your numbers you can find mushrooms find morels anywhere just about but higher quantities of them obviously in this bottom soil and wetter areas around the right trees trees are key Right, we're in a different spot. Never looked here before. Got a small little standing row of birch on the edge of this old field here. A lot of brush, thick stuff. And they aren't very big, but they're fresh. Here's another one right here. Right there. So we're gonna look around, see if we can't come up with a few more maybe. Something else you can do, I'm gonna just pick these here. See how this ground sloped? You always wanna look up from where you find a mushroom and down, down where uh, water would flow downstream, so to speak, even though there's no flowing water here, but you wanna look up and you wanna look down. Now I can look over here and I see a mushroom there. I see a mushroom there. And there may be more. I'm getting ready to crawl through these uh, blackberry bushes here get stuck with stickers ouch this one the top's just a little bit burn up on him taking just snip that right off and it'd be good to eat this one here's not bad not bad um again i mean we're right here by a birch still in this line of birch but i this is somewhat downstream so to speak from those i found up there i'll look a little farther down and i'll look back this way i see one peeking out over there Let's see if i can get through this now yes ouch Got a few peeking up through here actually. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one. And when you find them, you just want to set or stand or whatever, and that's in that spot. You want to really search out good, start at your feet and just work your way out. Like here, look, see how that one's hiding? I could have walked past that 10 times and never saw it. I'm trying to figure out how 
on the world it's growing where it stems at. It's got some vines and stuff. I don't even know if I'll be able to pick that one. Jeez. Yeah, okay. Really odd shaped mushroom there. I left the bag in the Jeep because I was just more or less kind of checking this spot out, but starting to find a few. I get to a point where I'm not looking for a mushroom. I'll be looking for this honeycomb look on the mushroom. I'll, you may only see a small portion of it. it just, you know, under a leaf or whatever. You just look for that honeycomb look. See, yeah, there's one right there. Ooh, if I can get out of these thorns, it would be amazing. Oh, another one with a little bit of a burnt top. We had a snow come through Wednesday this is Friday and we had uh, a couple frosts got back that. to my boat what are these look look what are those get out of my boat a bunch of bugs in here uh, yeah. come on dang it Going through brush. 